Day now trying to do it as a head coach with Stony Brook. The orange in white and orange, and the Sea Wolves in navy and red. We are underway in the Carrier Dome. Both teams have struggled from the face-off exit of the season. And Syracuse wins a critical one. It's Brent Kennedy's goal. Kark, you're right on it. It was all about the ride. And Jacob Fopp back at the face-off X makes quick work there. Here's Fopp looking for another great trail check. Stone the team goes berserk. Brooks still chasing their first face-off win of the day. Can't get it here. The key for Syracuse is to get Scanlon's confidence going early. Has to happen to balance that attack. Well, right now, the Syracuse attack couldn't be more balanced. Three goals from three different scorers and a terrific start of the Carrier Dome for the Orange. And so can checks. But Syracuse still up 3-1. to one. The minute 32. The ball. At the end of the day, you can have all the middies in the world. You need an attackman who owns the offense. And right now, I think Rafis is that calming force, and we're seeing his versatility. Austin and White. And the Orange, you know, people thought this guy was flinging that first loss against Army. The offense looked out of sync. Since Owen Hiltz has come in, it's not just the freshman scoring ability. But ways helps run the offense. Davis and Chase Scanlon have played a lot better as well. Yeah, and I think Hiltz is giving them the ability to understand spacing. If you watch Hiltz, he kind of, in some ways, helps run the offense off ball. It's really amazing to see. And New Jacob. Jersey, and he would send me videos of him, and just it was the top hand. The top hand is just so so quick. And he passes off of that lever, he shoots off of that lever, it's, it's something else. What do you think of my Steph Curry quick release compare? <laughs> Stony Brook has shot. A lot of goalies are thinking you're going for that far pipe, and when you can hit it to the middle or the near pipe, really tough for a goalie to track. <laughs> Battle at the face-off edge between... Geskowitz and Jacob Fopp still going for the ground ball. Fopp has it in his stick. Great grit from the faceoff man for SU. Jacob Fopp to win possession. Syracuse has an eight effects against the Seawolves. Bounce back performance after he struggled against Vermont. Yeah, he's a grinder, high school wrestler from the state of Pennsylvania. And he's a, a team favorite guy. Does all that dirty work. You don't see the tie-ups on the face-offs with the new rules as much with the standing neutral grip. You rarely see that that Tackman. You know, guys like Connor Schellenberger from Virginia and Matt Moore's teammate. Very two-handed. From the midfield, I think Dordovic is the most two-handed player in college lacrosse. In the country two years ago, Connor Schellenberger. He's delivering for Virginia as a redshirt freshman. Brandon O'Neill, the number one recruit, delivering big time for Duke. Hilt's the number two recruit. These guys are coming. Deskowitz battling it out again at the face-off. X Fop emerges victorious. Only two seconds for the Orange. Struggled against Vermont a week ago from the face-off. X really strong in that first half, winning 11 of 15. Yeah, Fop is a competitor, and you knew he was going to be itching to get out and play today, based on last week's performance against Vermont, where Vermont really. Gave Fop everything that he could handle in one of the tougher statistical days of his career, and he's dominating today. Picks up right where he left off, almost cashed it in for a goal. Great save. Midfielder who will do his work up top. When he inverts, he goes behind. He sees the whole field. He's a guy who's played attack in high school. The vision of Curry, righty, lefty, it, it, it's been spectacular. 
And Steven Rafe is a hat trick. Three goals on three shots. He has been money for the Orange today. Battle for the faceoff. Seawolves come away with it. No, they don't. They <laughs> hit two guys there to scoop it up. The battle continues. It's like a rugby scrum. This is history. Now, Paul, he just has a powerful, explosive first step. And he used it there to make it a seven-goal advantage for Syracuse. Yeah, I don't know. It's being inserted into the starting lineup. Owen Hills with four today. It's an eight-nothing run for the Orange since this game had 4.40 to go in the first half. By the way, our stat man, Rustin. Yeah, it's got to be. It's got to be razor thin. You know, you want it to be able to slide under a, a door crack. That, that's a that's a good indicator if it's thin enough. What's the electric chair meal? His head is always up. Like you're seeing his shooting on display, but you watch tape of him, and I watched his high school highlights and some of his play at Stony Brook. He's an elite passer. And you, you could build around a guy like that, right? Because he's he's a dual threat attackman. If Stony Brook figures a way to win some of these faceoffs, you give Palinetti and the offense way more reps. They haven't had that. They've faced off under 50% the entire year. They're just not watch list for the national player of the year. So when you're a defensive coordinator, pick your poison. Who are you going to prioritize in terms of your matchups? And when you prioritize one, the other two get loose. One last thing on Murphy. And he takes up a lot of the cage. He grew up about 10 miles from where I live. He's worked at Ohio State. He knows lacrosse. He's a Long Island guy. I think that he is going to recruit really well. And he'll get transfers, guys who want to come back to Stony Brook. Also, facility. Eight minutes left to this fourth quarter. Syracuse commanding goal. This was a goal game. I have four. And then Orange exploded on a 10 thing run. Three goals in a row for Stony Brook. That McMahon goal significant to some. Syracuse 17, Stony Brook eight, six minutes to go in the fourth quarter. Fop continues to battle the faceoff X. He's been terrific this afternoon. Out front, he's got a whole lot of net to look at. I like the urgency. Your team's down. You got a gun for it. The last time Syracuse scored at least 17 goals in three.